Yo guys, you're now tuning into RTE. My name's Daniel and I'm going to be interviewing Afrobeats artist Silverstone. Welcome to the Thank you very much for having me, bro. Nice yeah. to come on the RTE production and stuff. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, man. Um, it's a pleasure. So I've realised that, um, you know, you've kind of been named, you've been named as um, one of the beats which played on extra um, hot for 2015. Yes. How did you manage to make the transition from being an you know, underground beats artist to becoming, you know, hot for 2015? Um, it was like, it was before I was making music, you know, and um, just producing for people, but it got to a point where, you know, myself and my manager, so Prestige, was saying, like, right, we need, we need a vision, we need a, like, a, um, we need something to work on. And so, like, we decided to do an e we decided, decided to um, do a mixtape called The Resume, which we released. It was a free download, it's actually available on my website, you can download that right now. Yeah. And then, um, after, we were working on the EP. So the EP had a lot of different genres, you know, mixed and fused with Afro, you know, African music, you yeah. understand? So like being an Afrobeats artist and kind of, I feel pushing the boundaries, I felt that, you know, or I think that that's got the attention of like the BBC and other people. And, you know, they thought, wow, this is different. And yeah, they put me on that list. It's amazing because I'm the only like, Actual guitarist on yeah. that list yeah, this year, sure. you know. So it's a blessing, and yeah, it's it's something that I'm humbled by, but yeah. yet you know pushed and you know uh, driven because it's it's a game changer. Yeah. You understand? Like I don't think anybody's kind of doing what you know we're doing at the moment. So you know, but yeah. it's it's an amazing time. Yeah. So you also featured on um, BBC Focus on Africa. Yes. Um, I know that I'm saying the music kind of differs in terms of influences, so it's yeah. different. Uh -huh. Trying to put out something a bit different, yeah. like that's all a bit normal, like everyone yeah. else is doing. Um, so, what influences are you actually trying to put out there? That's well, a bit different what, artists. well, the main thing I would want to do is edutainment. That's the underline, the undertone of it. You know, yeah. I want I want there to be a, a line of education and mm. entertainment. You mm. know, and I'm a real guy. When I say I'm a real guy, like I will talk about God. I'm a Christian. I mm. talk about how amazing God is and how much mm. God has blessed me. And I'll then the next breath, I talk about how amazing the booty is and the way she shakes her <laughs> ass. Because yeah. it's real. Mm. You understand? God yeah. created it. That's it. I'm not a person that's like, you know, I, I'm not going to hide behind a facade or try and be like, oh, you know, you really shouldn't do that. But the mm. truth is, if you see a nice woman, mm. you look at their ass and be like, wow, you look twice, three it's times, true, even true. if you're married. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> understand? So, yeah. like, I want to speak about that because mm -hmm. it's real. You understand? And mm -hmm. That's where I feel, you know, in the Afrobeat side, I'll be different. Mm -hmm. You know, just the messages and just the music as well. So, so I realised that you've been booked in for Soul of Houston 2015 mm -hmm. throughout March. Um, are you preparing for this? You know, you know? Yeah, it's, it's, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to do that. Um, it's a bit, you know, I'm not used to doing acoustic shows, so you know, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. I'm gonna, yeah. you know, I'm gonna do for the night. But yeah, it's it's yeah. for the for that show. I'm really gonna try and bridge the gap between producer yeah. and artist. So I'm maybe like producing part of the songs, you know, doing BBs and then performing the songs. Oh. Yeah, that's the plan, you know. So it should be good, and it's it's a six day tour, you know, around the UK. So I'm very excited about that. You know, I mean, big up. Punch hyphen records for putting right. that together. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so we've got um, Human Being video which is coming out in March, and then um, we're going to be shooting Lay Your Head visuals as well. And actually, we've got a big feature for another. Got a big feature? Yeah, yeah, big feature for another track called Scatter, which is on the EP, which you can get. But the featured one is not on there yet. You know, it's, it's like got literally. It's, a bit of a it's we, we've drawn for royalty on this track, you know, like literally yeah. a legend that people dance to like you see how like Michael Jackson like a two-year-old will know Michael Jackson mm. and a 99 year old knows Michael Jackson this is yeah. how this well-known this artist that we're drawn for for this remix it's, it's huge this guy's huge no, you me like a little all, all I can say is that yeah it's, it's, it's yeah. gonna be big it's, it's gonna, gonna be big, big. Yeah. it's gonna be big I can't even, I was actually gonna use one of the 
titles of the songs that they've done, but if I say that, you'll know. So I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> you have to promise me I'll be the first of them. Yeah, man, you'll, I'll, I'll, you guys will hit, you guys will see it. We're working on it. In fact, we've already done it. And that's why I can talk about it. We've already done it. Yeah, the next bit is the visuals, so we're working on that. Trust me, it's about to drop. <laughs> Big Afro beats has never been here. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. So, Silverstone, what is the biggest thing you love and hate about the music industry? <laughs> the loves. Um, it's not a trick question. It's not a trick question. So I love the girls, the money. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, the thing I love about. See, the music industry is a business. Mm. So, I guess you have to kind of learn that it's business and not personal. Understand? Once you get to understand, once you get to know that and get to, you know, understand that that's mm. what it is, then yeah you start to take things less personal so things that would upset you about the business upset you less because you realize it's actually part of it you know um and i think you know being in it for quite some time and understanding that and just being like in a quiet corner observing it has helped quite a lot so yeah the things i don't like about it obviously you know some people blocking you you understand People trying to, you know, mess about with um, your, your growth and stuff like that. You know, those are things I don't like. But hey, yeah. you know, someone's got to be low in order for someone else to be high. Yeah, it happens. Dog eat dog world. Kind of eat dog world. Yeah. yeah. But the things I love about it is the creativity. Is the is the real kind of um, the, the positive the positive energy you get from other people. You know performing songs yeah. having people sing them back having people enjoy them people enjoy your performances like that's really I mean, amazing it must be like amazing having to work with like different artists and different kind of yeah. personalities and that kind of stuff you know and you know? yeah definitely and like it's it's a blessing to also learn from them yeah understand like the worst thing you can ever do is think that you know everything understand? Yeah, yeah. go into it like you don't know anything and trust me you'll come out knowing more than you knew before so yeah, that's one thing I love about the music industry, just how amazing and organic things can grow. You understand? You can be sitting next to someone you don't know, next minute you've got the next hit song. Yeah. Just because you guys decided to connect. You know, so yeah, there's this infinite infinite, you know, blessings that can come from it. It's crazy. So yeah. I mean you are doing really well for yourself, so um, Thank good you, luck man. for this year and definitely Thank you, man. you know, appreciate you coming on to RT. Oh, no problem any time, yeah. man. You know, go make sure you give me you know, that. Yeah, yeah scatter. Out. Trust yeah. me, you'll have the first, you know, <laughs> play of scatter featuring. Yeah, <laughs> I thought I was gonna get it. You know. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, scatter your brain when you get it. Ah, this guy. Like, How'd you manage? I say, oh, I go do. I go do. Yeah, nice but yeah, man, it's good to meet you. Thank you very much for having me. Make sure you download my EP from iTunes Transitions, and if. You know, while that's downloading, download the free copy of uh, of, of uh, the resume as well from the website silverstonemusic.com. Follow me on Twitter at Silverstone Beats. Um, also on Instagram at Silverstone, Snapchat at Silverstone, Facebook at Silverstone. And if you don't know how to spell it, look on the screen right now. He's going to write me. Silverstone. Silverstone. <laughs> and I've been your presenter today, Daniel. Yeah. RTE. Big up RTE. Bless, man. Yo, Charlie, what's good, people? It's your boy Silverstone, and you're watching RTE Productions. Make sure you keep subscribing. Tell your mama, tell your grandma, tell your grandma's grandma. Yeah.